this morning's Health Watch, the H1N1 virus. A White House report suggests that up to 50 percent of Americans could catch the virus, killing as many as 90,000. One school on New York's Long Island isn't taking any chances. It's not allowing students to touch each other. No chest bumps, no handshakes, not even high fives on the football field. Here with some advice on what you can and shouldn't do or should do, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. I'm going to go back to that White House number because there's controversy about that. That's right. The White White House says one thing, the CDC says another thing. What are we to believe? Now, we have to remember those numbers were not predictions. They were used to plan for, for this coming winter. In and a worst case scenario. And they're based on computer models. So right. this is not anything that we really, it's frightening, but we really have to put it into context. Okay, the report in the New York papers yesterday said as many as 800,000 people right. were in, that's a one in 10 practically, right. fewer than 100 people die. If this virus that we talk about every day is as benign as it seems to be, should we be making as big a deal as we are? Well, from an infectious disease standpoint, the answer is possibly yes, because it is a new strain and it is very readily transmissible. But again, you and I were talking, we have to do some math here. We have to put the number of potential cases in the denominator of a mm. fraction, which is potentially half the U.S. population. And in the numerator would go the severe cases or potentially deaths. The larger the bottom number gets, mm -hmm. the larger the top number will get also, unfortunately. Uh, Statistically, it's not very likely, but if it happens to you, it's a real thing. Yeah, and it is a real thing, and it's something we should be paying attention right. to. These schools, we did the story yesterday about the colleges with the hundreds of kids already with the H1N1, and this school out in Long Island say, don't touch. Don't touch each other. Don't touch your neighbor. Now, again, it's not, it's not that realistic, but again, prevention is key. Mm -hmm. In Georgia, we saw some students wearing face masks, and the CDC actually did leave that as an option, more to protect others if you yourself are sick, but these N95 masks, right. if you can't avoid close contact, can potentially be helpful, but there's a lot of controversy about their use in the medical community. Some people think it makes you more at risk because you're going to be touching your face and moving that mask around. So again, basic things apply, Harry. You want to wash your hands, stay home if sick, and try to limit the contact. And we'll talk to you about this all again tomorrow. Yes, sure. we will. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much. We'll